Hello from Sketch Data. In today's video, I'd like to demonstrate a feature that's on the toolbox that will allow you to create a text file or CSV export of all the Sketch Data cabinets in your model. So let's get started. I have a SketchUp file here of a kitchen. So here's a kitchen. These are all dynamic components, so we could look at the traditional built-in SketchUp uh, component options window, so I have the variables I can change, or you could look at the options that's on the toolbox. Um, the difference here is you can actually use fractions, and also um, we have the ability to combine a name feature, so um, that will also go out to the text file so you can distinguish or give kind of a tag to each one of the products. It's basically the same thing you see here in the Entity Info window, it just puts it all in one spot. So if I go to the toolbox, I see an option here to make a cabinet list, CSV export, and I can run that macro. I could pick a different location, but right now it's going to put it at the same point, or same spot it found the uh, SketchUp file. So the data underscore export dot CSV on the desktop. And then it also creates a folder of images for all the models that are being exported. So if you want to do some more elaborate reporting. So we'll export the data. And we can see down here below it's working. And we'll close this down and go look for our text file. And here I have a new images folder and I also have a CSV file. And in this particular case, uh, LibreOffice is associated to a CSV file, so that's why it has that icon. But if I were to double click on it, it could be Excel or you could use a text editor. But we can see it opens up. We have the file name it comes out of, the layer it's on. This is an entity ID, which is an internal number that SketchUp uses. We have the image that it created, so if you want to do some reporting with it. This is the name field that I was talking about. It allows you to kind of give it more uh, meaningful, like a B1, B2, W1, W2. Here's the component. And in this particular case, I actually used a dot one to indicate a rollout underneath, inside this product. I have the width in inches, height, de depth in inches, in this case, the model is working in fractions, so I get also the fractional equivalents. I get toe height. Let me scroll over, see some other things. Hinge direction, finished end, both left, right, whether it's a finished interior, the number of shelves, and whether those shelves are fixed. And actually, this one had a comment on it also, so let's go back and look at that. Um, and I'll show you where that's at. So I'm going to close this file down. If I reopen up that kitchen... I think that was on a wall open cabinet. And that would probably be this one here. And using the sketch data options, you can go here and you can actually give it some change the description and give it some more notes. So we finish finished top of cabinet that goes out to the text file. So I'm going to close this. I have another file that's at the guest bath. And I can actually append the, uh, the data from that file into the same text file. So if I go back to the toolbox, now it's right now defaulting to export to the same file. I could pick a different one, but I'm going to export the data to the same location. And it says it already exists, so I could overwrite it, losing all the data from the kitchen, or I can say no, and now it's telling me it's appending to the file. So if I close this down, and oh, I forgot to show you the images. Here you go. So here's the images. Uh, so these came out of the guest bath. You can see the file names there. That came out of the kitchen. And let's go back and open up our text file. So we can see it appended on the bottom. Guest bath is the file name. Layer. Different picture names. Different names for uh, designators. Again, here's the products and the size and the, all the other information. So now, you know, once you have it into an, a spreadsheet or things like that, you could add additional columns or extract data and do uh, pricing if you wanted or other kind of calculations with other lookup tables. So I hope you guys find the addition to the toolbar that's plugin helpful. And uh, please, if you have any questions, feel free to email us. Thank you.